So the teachers um, really emphasis in the classroom to always be truthful, to, uh, to always have a truth in your faith, and to always be good. And on the top of our papers, we always write AMDG, which in Latin means Ad Merum Deum Glorium, which is for the greater glory of God, which always means that we always do everything. We always do tests, we always do everything for the glory of God. Eucharist is the source and summit of the Christian life and so we take that very seriously. We don't just want to teach that in the classroom, but we have this beautiful gift to go to Mass frequently and from, from that many graces abound. Not only as, as a faculty, but also you can see in the students their growing love for the Eucharist and we want to foster that devotion so that when they leave here they, ha they, they know that that's, that's the best way to begin their day. When a family comes to me and is thinking about sending their kids to Lourdes, I ask them to think about their child and what do they want most for their child? What is their child made for in the end? Do they want their child to be trained to do, to do things, to learn skills just to do and targeting a career or whatever it may be? Or do you want them to flourish as a human being? As human beings, we're made to know the truth, choose the good, and love the beautiful. And that's what we focus on here at Lourdes. Well, being frank, uh, it was our principal, uh, Ms. Anderson, uh, her boldness, her faith in classical education, and I would say it's the rest of the faculty, their uh, unity and their worship, their worship at the Mass. We know that they know the Lord, and that's what they can pass on to them. What attracted me as I walked in first to this school was I could almost feel the spirit, and then definitely talking to our principal, Rosemary, and her vision for the school was really the vision for our children as well, as parents, and then the teachers, and the whole environment was just um, very homey, homey and felt right for our children to be here. Catholic education in general is a mission of the Catholic Church. So I would like the message to get out that we are in service of Catholic families, regardless of size. We are here to serve every family. Financials, all of that comes second. We are a ministry of the Church. When we do that, we seek to form disciples. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. My own experience with the children has been seeing, seeing their joy for coming to school. It's, it's very easy to see students at any school kind of start to check out and not be engaged, especially in the middle school years. And what we're doing here is so different than that. We do reach the students. They are engaged, not, not just on a surface level, but there is a, there's a depth there that they really do want to learn and they want to, they want to know their faith. We have such great teachers here that live that every day and so they're, they're just full of joy and we really try to foster that and support that here. So in this era, we have a lot of charter schools starting up, and, and uh, we sometimes forget as Catholic schools, we have our charter. The, the church gives us our charter. There's many church documents on education, and every document stresses the importance of parents as being the primary educators of their children. Uh, that's what's natural. Whether they want to be or not, parents are going to be the primary educator of their child. And so there has to be that order that is natural where we come in and then assist the parents and reinforce what is already happening at home. That's when education works, that's the way it was meant to be. One of the key things at Lourdes, the importance of learning Latin, 
and how that helps them in all aspects of their life, helps with their faith formation, helps learn the language of the church, but also really helps the brain think critically, think logically, and be able to see, go right to the truth. That is something that is very unique to Lourdes and that does, we see it time and again when the graduates come back. They just have, they are able to think deeper, they're able to go deeper into issues. One of my heroes, Fulton Sheen, said that uh, oftentimes education can become uh, the passing of information from the teacher's notebook to the student's notebook without, without passing through the mind of either one. Uh, and that's, that doesn't happen here at Lourdes. One more time. It's all about wonder, getting the students to ask, I wonder why, to wonder and then come to behold a truth is, again, just brings great joy. One of the stories I would love to share is one of our children in the previous school was always coming home lifeless, very down. And now to see him coming home energized and full of life and he can't stop sharing his experiences is really uh, warming my heart and I know this is the right school for us. My invitation to parents is to prayerfully consider, first of all, your role and the great responsibility as the primary educators of your family, of your children. And then, if the Lord is calling you to Lourdes, to come visit the school. We have a beautiful campus here in Denver. We have excellent teachers and a wonderful staff that engage the students that seek their whole formation, spiritually, academic, physically, and emotionally. And we want you to be a part of our family here at Lourdes.